I could see flames, I could the smoke. It's like I was drowning, I couldn't breathe. I climbed over the mattress, and that's when I seen Penny. One look at her, I knew that there was no hope for her. Maybe I can get to the kids. But there was the flames were too great. There was nothing I could do to get to them. I tell you, it was a hard thing that early morning hour to crawl out that bathroom window knowing they were still in there. And there was nothing I could do to get to them. You know, by me sharing my story through Final Witness, you know, I hope to it, it'll be a help to others. I remember one night I read through the book of Job several times. Yeah, I know the whole story about Job. Job loses his family, loses everything. Even though I'd read it before, it was like I was seeing it for the first time. And I'm thinking, well, maybe God's got a purpose for me. Maybe there's something that he's... But I tell you, it was difficult, you know, um, to move on. I was very angry, went through a lot of depression and had a lot of bitterness. And, you know, I've met a lot of people down through the years who've gone through maybe a lot less than what I've gone through, and it's it's changed them in a way they become bitter and angry. And, you know, that's not who I am, and I didn't want that to define who I was, and I didn't want this to cause me to be bitter and angry. So, you know, I, knew, I thought it was time to, I was ready to move forward, and I knew that the only way I was going to be able to do that is forgive those who committed this horrible crime. Though, you know, I'm a full-time speaker now. I'm the founder of Across America Ministries, and, and I share my story um, on a weekly basis. I've written a book, Terror by Night, about it. But even uh, with all that being said, to actually see something, see your life on screen like that, it really, really, it really took me back.